Zern Plumbing Products Group, a leading manufacturer of plumbing products and accessories, introduced its chemical drainage system in 1999. Zern Chemical Drainage System products are manufactured in state-of-the-art facilities in Commerce, Texas. Zern Chemical Drainage System piping is constructed of corrosion-resistant plastic, which makes it an excellent choice for laboratories, chemical plants, and hospitals. The Zern system features a mechanical and fusion joining method. Both methods are easy to install. Before making a mechanical joint connection, remove any dirt and debris from all seals, piping, and fitting. Thoroughly wipe each component with a clean, damp cloth to ensure you're using clean components. Use water only. Do not use solvents. Cut the pipe square. Zern recommends the use of a chop saw or a pipe cutting tool with a blade designed to penetrate Schedule 40 plastic pipe. Deburr the ends of the pipe to remove all loose shavings. Next, groove the pipe. Secure the pipe and position the grooving tool onto the end of the pipe. Three inch and four inch pipe may require a tri-stand chain vise. The groover blade must be retracted to avoid damaging the pipe. Turn the groover knob counterclockwise until its point is positioned at the half depth setting as indicated on the tool. Turn the unit one complete turn counterclockwise or in the direction of the arrow as illustrated on the top of the tool. Turn the knob once again, this time until the tab hits the stop pin. Turn the groover once more to ensure a deep groove. Turn the knob clockwise and remove the grooving tool. If any flash remains, carefully remove. If a vise is used, do not place the end of the pipe under the chain. This may occur when grooving short lengths of pipe and may mark the end of the pipe. Remove the locking nut from its fitting and apply it to the pipe. Apply the seal to the end of the pipe. For one and a half and two inch seals, put the fat end of the seal on first and push it until it locks into the groove. It's not necessary to preheat one and a half and two inch seals. For three and four inch seals, preheat treatment of the seal and chamfering the end of the pipe will ensure easy and correct installation. Heat treat the seal in warm water between 100 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit for one to five minutes. To avoid heat treatment, place the bottom or thin end of the mechanical seal onto the top side or milled portion of the grooving tool. Utilizing the wings of the groover, leverage the seal onto the pipe, making sure equal force is applied. This ensures the seal is sufficiently locked in the grooved position. Lubricate threads of the fitting with a petroleum jelly or a plastic safe Teflon lubricant to facilitate the tightening process. Finally, insert the pipe assembly into the fitting and hand tighten the nut. Use the spanner wrench provided to tighten the nut until it's snug. Zern provides another double-ended replacement cutting blade to help avoid costly job site delays. Spare blades are located in storage compartments on all grooving tools. Replacement blades for the small groovers are contained in the blade housing compartment located directly under the groover knob. Large groovers have a covered pocket on the inside of the tool that contains replacement blades. The cover can be removed with a screwdriver. Before making a fusion method connection, Remove any dirt and debris from all seals, piping, and fittings. Thoroughly wipe each component with a clean, damp cloth to ensure you're using clean components. An acetone, alcohol, or pipe cleaning solution may facilitate cleaning. Cut the pipe square. Zern recommends the use of a chop saw or a pipe cutting tool with a blade designed to penetrate Schedule 40 plastic pipe. Deburr the ends of the pipe to remove all loose shavings. Remove the retaining nuts from the fitting. Insert the fusion lock seal onto the socket end of the fitting. Rotate the lead wires of the seal to the desired position. Push the leads inward and reapply the retaining net. 
Push the leads outward, leaving room for the pipe. Next, mark the pipe utilizing the depth gauge. Hang the hook end of the gauge over the pipe and mark the pipe according to the diameter. This ensures that the pipe is fully inserted into the fitting and that the pipe will not pull out due to thermal expansion. Insert the pipe into the fitting. The depth mark must be flush with the top of the retaining nut. Tighten the nut with a Zern spanner wrench. Turn the fusion machine on. Connect the machine's fusion clips to the fitting's lead wires. For multiple joints, connect in a series using the jumper cables. Make sure there's no undue stress on the lead wires resulting from the weight of the machine's cords hanging from the seal. Redistribute the weight of this cord into the pipe and fittings, utilizing the hanging strap, or by wrapping excess cord around the pipe. Press start on the fusion lock machine or on the remote. The machine will perform a systems check, identifying the ambient temperature and joint sizes being fused. It will also confirm if the joints are properly connected. The machine will deliver the correct amount of power for each size joint. It does not over or undercook joints. Wait while the joints are fusing. The machine's display will count down remaining well time. If a clip becomes disconnected, our machine will compensate for lost time. Simply reconnect the clip. An alarm will sound upon completion of the fusion cycle. Remove the clips and move on. Do not disturb the joints for five minutes after the fusing cycle. Joints should cool a half hour before testing. Do not test with air. Test only with water. We recommend you use 10 feet of head at 4.5 PSI. If you have questions regarding our installation practices, call us toll free at 877-875-1404. Extension. 1369.